Now let's take a look at using the Retopo Models Mesh Presets here in this palette. So I'm going to hide this one and create a new layer. I'll turn wireframe off. I'll hide that as well. And I'll look through the default list of primitives, but you can store any meshes that you want in a category or a project folder. You can click Add New Folder, name it accordingly, and drag and drop the Retopo layers into the palette. Another method you could utilize is to create a new folder in the following location. Then copy and paste the OBJ files you already have on your hard drive into it. The next time you open 3D Coat, it will not only load that folder, but create thumbnails for you. With that said, let's choose something like this. Scale it down. The one thing that we don't have is we don't have the click to place option, except if we were to select the Primness tool and choose one of these, then 3D Coat will use these as extended primitives, and that will give us a freeform deformation lattice and the option to quickly place it. One of the benefits of using this is that it already has, in the default directory, UVs applied. So let me go ahead and just hit Apply. I don't want it snapped to an underlying object because there is none. So I hit Nope. You can see we already have our UV set up for us. So that's one major benefit. You may notice that it created a new layer for us. Whereas with the Primitives tool, we had to create our own layer. It's going to place that object in that layer and it's going to adopt the same name of the mesh preset. So I'll go ahead and delete that layer. And now I will select the Primitives tool and select this object. I'll temporarily hide the underlying voxel object. You can see it has this lattice around it, so we can change the control points arbitrarily, just like we could in a sculpt workspace. So let's make that four. We can use a freeform lasso to select all the points, and now we have a standard transform gizmo. Another option, if we want to transform just the entire object, is we can check Transform Lattice Toggle. So now I'm going to scale it along the Y axis, and I will use the Click to Place option, just as we saw previously. Scale my brush up, click here, and I'm all set. Maybe I want to use this as some type of a bolt. So let's apply a few of these. I'll go ahead and move this into place. There's a certain amount of transparency on the voxel object where I can see through to see just how deep this primitive actually is or how deep it's going into the object. So once again, I'm going to place this object on the selected layer when I hit apply. I'm going to keep the tool active. I'm going to move it over just a bit. And again, apply. So I think we're good to go here. I'll step out of the tool, inspect the result. Once more in the Sculpt workspace, if I need, I can create copies of these as well. So I'll create a new layer and hit my hotkey. I'm going to increase the resolution, but just as you would in a typical 3D application, if you don't already have edge loop support around your hard edges, then it's going to smooth excessively. That's not what we want. I can get around that by hitting the Enter key, and it's going to temporarily switch to voxels. It gives me the ability to select how dense I want this object to be. So let's go with maybe 750K. And then it switches me right back to surface mode. Okay, now let's turn wireframe on. It looks sufficiently dense. And choose smooth all. Increase the smoothing degree. Hit OK. Turn wireframe off. 
And again, I could create a duplicate of this as a cutting object. Hold down the control key and drag it onto this main layer. If the layer you're subtracting from is in voxel mode, it will typically perform the operation much faster. I can see the Boolean operation. I'll unhide these small objects and I can choose to extrude inwardly using a negative amount. Let's say 05. Then I'm just going to switch them to voxel mode. And I have a hotkey set for the smooth all function. So that's a quick look at using the Primness tool and the Retopo model's meshes as presets for both retopology and poly modeling, if you so choose. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.